So here's my first model, original, uh, backwards compatible for USB port, PlayStation 3. I installed custom firmware onto it, and then I also added a potentiometer to the back, which allows me to control the speed of the fan, prevent overheating, and I'm going to be taking and showing you a bigger look at the PlayStation and what I did and why I did it. And I, I mean, I also added lights to the controller because, I mean, you got it. Like, why not? But uh, let's take a look at the PlayStation. So here I installed Rebug onto the PS3. Uh, Rebug will allow you to install other programs and packets onto the PlayStation 3 because it has an additional, like an edited XMB menu. And I installed something which gives you a second XMB menu and then the ability to look at your PlayStation 3 as if it was a desktop. You can control the mouse cursor with an analog stick and the window location with another. It has a start bar, a start menu, and then you can even quit out of that and then go back to the other XMB, which has all your games on, which is just really, really cool. So yeah, let's take a look at the actual hardware mod that I did. So the, on the PS3, the fan plugs into the motherboard. I believe the motherboard um, only powers it to like 5 volts or something like that, um, which isn't really that powerful, especially when the power supply gets so hot. So what I did essentially was I just spliced into it and then um, wired the power supply directly to the fan. And what this does is it puts the fan at 12 volts all the time. And then installing a potentiometer in between those two will give you the ability to control how much voltage is going to the fan so it's not the loudest PlayStation 3 at all times. Uh, the reason for doing this is because the power supply on the top left of the PlayStation gets so, so, so hot. And the PlayStation has really poor circulation and ventilation due to the fact that the fan's on the bottom right, uh, very far away from what actually needs to be cool. So instead of, you know, like I wanted to like either water cool it or something else or add another fan, I figured this was the cheapest and easiest way just to get a potentiometer for $2.18 and just wire it in there. Um, so... <clears throat> The reason for doing this was to really just, you know, keep it cooler, uh, prevent overheating, stuff like that. And it's just really, really fun to do. Uh, anyone can do things like this. Anyone at all. All you got to do is just put your mind to it and just figure it out and you can do it. So doing things like that's a lot of fun, uh, especially with something you're passionate about like video games and older consoles. Even though PlayStation 3 is last generation, it's still... 10 years old and then I really wanted to get the potentiometer to be able to move freely and spin so so yeah uh, thanks for watching this and uh, I'm gonna be doing much more videos about all the console mods that I do uh, my channel's name is retro gaming arts and then I also have another Twitter under the same name of retro gaming arts thanks so much for watching